Imperialism is a process whereby agents of an expanding society gain inordinate influence or control over the vitals of weaker societies by diplomacy, ideological suasion, conquest and rule, or by planting colonies of its own peoples abroad. European powers used all these methods at one time or another, in one place or another, mostly in Middle East and North Africa. European imperialism in the Middle East was carried out in two ways, by economic penetration, carried out through investments, loans and creation of sphere of influences. Good example of these are the concessions extracted from the Persian government and Treaty of Balta Limana, signed in Ottoman Empire. French expansion towards North Africa, and especially Algeria, is an example of a settler plantation colony. Algeria was a territory of the Ottomans. They had been virtually autonomous within the Ottoman Empire. It was ruled by locally chosen Ottoman governors called Deis. For most of the Ottoman period, the main source of local income came from piracy. By the end of the 18th century, however, Mediterranean piracy had seen better days. European states projected their power onto the seas and being intolerant of the pirates of the Mediterranean and their sponsors. Through the time, the authority of the days decreased. While their authority decreased, the new French strategy of the Mediterranean were being adopted since Napoleon's expedition to Egypt. Although he was dead for over a decade, he was in a way responsible for the French invasion and colonization of Algeria. While in Egypt, Napoleon had bought Algerian grain with debts and it remained unpaid for a long time. It has become a sour spot between two governments for decades afterwards. During the negotiations about the debt, the day of Algeria hit the French consul, the Flyswatter. French government used the famous Fly Whisk incident to launch a naval campaign against Algeria. It all began with a naval blockade, with quickly made way to French troops occupying the capital, Algiers, in 1830. In 1848, the French integrated Algeria into France as three new provinces. In the eyes of the French government, Algeria was as much part of France as Paris and it remained so for over 100 years. European population settled in Algeria established a plantation economy. Settlers came to Algeria for both political and economic reasons. French government also used Algeria as a great place to dump political descendants, those who had fought in the French Revolution of 1848 or those who participated in the Paris Commune of 1871. 19th century saw the population of southern Europe growing faster than its resource base. The peasants, seeking a fresh start beyond the reach of their landlords, workers and artisans from southern Europe were drawn to Algeria by the lure of employment. Lands within the Algeria provided lucrative investment opportunities for Europeans. Most of the European investors would earn a sizable return for their investments, and money flooded into those investors' pockets. By the outbreak of World War I, there were approximately 700,000 European settlers in Algeria, most of whom had actually been born there. This European inhabitants ruled Algiers rather than 5 million Muslim inhabitants because they controlled both political and economic institutions. During the 1870s, when the wine industry in France was decimated by a parasite that ate the roots of grape wines, Entrepreneurs with holdings in Algeria began expanding grape cultivation. By 1914, one-third of Algerian exports was wine, due to the French expansion of grape cultivation. The French justified their way of integration of Algeria into the French political and economic system as their civilizing mission. It was claimed that they brought civilization to the natives. This way of integration made the emergence of Algerian nationalism possible, Beginning in the late 1920s, group of emigrant workers in France and Algeria began to form associations and demanded Algerian independence. Between 1954 and 1962, Algerians, under the leadership of National Liberation Front, fought an extremely bloody war for Algerian independence from France, a war in which over one million Algerians died fighting. French strategy of Algeria was important for a number of reasons. French administrators trained in Algeria provided the expertise for the French in other parts of Middle East, including Lebanon and Syria, which French came to control after World War I and the dissolution of the Ottoman Empire. Algeria also provided the model for a second but less successful attempt to implant a settler plantation colony in the Middle East. Taking it as an example, French financier Edmund Rothschild financed settler plantation colonies in Palestine in the beginning of 1882. 
Rothschild's plan called for European Jews to emigrate to Palestine and establish and oversee plantations for the cultivation of citrus, almonds and grapes for wine. This project was not successful as Rothschild had lost patience and within a few years two-thirds of the Jewish workers had already left the Palestine. Besides providing a model for settler plantation colonies elsewhere, Algeria provided another model as well. Algerian independence struggle became a rallying point and a model for other revolutionary struggles throughout the world.